I'd like to welcome everyone to the filming locations to return of the Killer Tomatoes. Tomato! Return of the Killer Tomatoes! Welcome back to the channel and welcome if it's your first time. I am Tampa J and I have traveled all the way to San Diego, California to track down the locations to this 1988 comedy classic, Return of the Killer Tomatoes. This is one of the least talked about, most underappreciated comedies of the 1980s that I just caught on to when I was a young kid and I have enjoyed this movie so much over the years. One, because it is just absolutely ridiculous. A mad professor uh, turns tomatoes into commando uh, type soldiers and is trying to take over the world. That villain, uh, Professor Gang Green, played by John Aston Gomez Adams of the Adams Family. And also, one of George Clooney's first movies. George Clooney is in this movie and he has a mullet. Whoa! Also, Anthony Stark, uh, the main character in this, uh, nephew to Wilbur Finletter, who was in Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, was veteran and hero of the Great Tomato War. Just so you know, tomatoes are banned. They are illegal because they tried to take over the world. So, this video is the filming locations to return of the Killer Tomatoes. I will be going all the way around the San Diego area today, tracking down these locations for the first time ever. And they took some digging. Heavily researched, and I will kind of explain how I found them as I go. Uh, for you Return of the Killer Tomato fans out there, tomato, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, this is for you guys. And uh, who knew that this ridiculous movie would bring me to the San Diego area for the first time. This is my first time down here and uh, look forward to seeing the city today. All right, so here we go. Return of the Killer Tomatoes, 1988, filmed in 1987 for six weeks right out here and all the spots I will show you today. I am Tampa J and there is tomato ahead so much of it. If you didn't see Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, the first film that was filmed 10 years before this one, don't worry about it because I didn't watch it either the first time I watched this film. Oh, did that move on its own? It was the tomato! Oh no! And here we begin. The Bad Guy's Lair, Professor Gang Green's house from Return of the Killer Tomatoes. 1433 East 24th Street in National City. Oh my gosh, this is the house. Incredible. And during this filming locations video, I will be showing you the screenshots I grabbed from the movie, showing you what the locations looked like during the movie, and then showing you what they look like today. This specific screenshot, Chad is delivering the pizza to Gang Green's house, again played by John Aston, with that boysenberry sauce, and Tara comes out on the front porch, which is right there. Wish we could get a little closer, to be honest. Uh, I didn't think I was gonna get this close. I'm glad that you can see it from the road. Oh my gosh. And right there are the front doors, the doorstep. This is where Chad delivered the pizza to Tara. She walked right out through those doors. Chad delivered a boysenberry sauce pizza. Here are the screenshots. Check it out. That is where that went down, right there. That's amazing. Tomato! Even more amazing, those doors are still the same. Check out the pattern here. Check this out. Zoomed all the way in. Look at the pattern on the door. That's it. Obviously the doors would have been open, but that those are the same doors. Nothing has changed. And to break down the beginning scene here even more, I came back to North and 24th. Chad takes a left here on to 24th on the scooter and I paused the screen just right so you can make out this house the street sign and this whole corner you'll see behind Chad in this screenshot check out the house directly behind his head and in the background it's right there here you go leading up to Gang Green's house 
he would have rode his scooter right into the driveway. It's right there. Chad coming this way towards the driveway and right into it up into the house to deliver the pizza. Now notice this right here. Specifically this curb, this pole, these steps, and the edge of the house right here. I'll put the shot into frame. There's Chad. Paused it just right. The pole to his left behind him, the curb, and the stairs. All here today. That's pretty cool. Went right up that way and delivered the boysenberry pizza to Tara. And all in the yard were gangrene's tomato commandos. Tara's line were, they are gardeners and they are planters. They are not tomato men. Okay, are these dogs tomatoes? Oh, 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 oh. These are the watchdogs. And this uh, house is on a dead end. There's no outlet. And it's called, something called the Dickinson Bowl House. It's a very historic home here in National City. Yeah, so somewhere over on the side below the porch to the left there, that's where Chad peeked through to the basement where he was lurking on the mad laboratory. And that's where he discovered that he was turning men into tomato. Oh my gosh. And I believe, uh, I believe they did film inside of this house all the upstairs scenes we, where you see John Aston talking on the phone. Um, and just going back and forth. Those were all filmed inside. The laboratory, if I had to guess, was filmed in a studio just because it was, it was, a, it was a cool set. It was really uh, well made. This movie, really well made for a low budget comedy. And they took their time with it. Uh, I was listening to the commentary on it by Anthony Starkey who plays Chad. And they said that it took them six weeks to make this movie and they basically made it on the weekend. So. Very well done. Uh, again, very underrated classic comedy film. Draws humor from like Airplane and Monty Python and inspired a scene from Wayne's World, the product placement scene. That was done first in this movie and I'll show you where that happened at Finn Letters Pizza later. Oh yeah, there's much ahead. All right, we have so much to do today. I can't believe this is going down. It's hard to leave. Professor Gangreens. Return the killer tomatoes. Tomato. FT. Well, my friends, those mountains over there for this next filming location, we, we're very rural. Those mountains over there, that's Mexico. We're right up next to the border. And this road, if it was a little more worse than this, I wouldn't be going down it. You're looking at the Richard J. Donovan Correctional Facility right here on the south side of San Diego just about a mile away from Mexico, way out there. Zoomed in on the portion of the prison that was used in the movie. All the way to the left, you see three towers. Right there is where they shot all of the scenes from Return of the Killer Tomatoes. I can make out those towers from screenshots I have. And here you go, a screenshot. There's one of the towers there. It's hard to compare it because it's so far away. But this is at the end of the movie when the uh, the guys are coming to the rescue on the ATVs and they enter the Oliver, Oliver North Prison. Oliver North Federal Prison incarceration with a difference. All kinds of different humor here. Uh, Oliver North, if you didn't know, there was a scandal in the late 1980s. He was, uh, he was a, it was a political scandal. We don't have to go into too much detail, but yeah. Full of all kinds of humor and satire. Uh, here's a scene or there's fuzzy tomato right there on <laughs> on top of his head and some more screenshots of some of the scenes filmed here John Aston coming around the corner this is the final showdown there are the tomato commandos and there you the whole cast coming together finally at the final hilarious moment here this is a great shot here detention area former White House aides to the right really bad guys to the left there he is walking up to the former White House aide. Uh, if you didn't know, this again, this is a sequel. This gentleman uh, was responsible for the something to do with the tomato war and the attack of the killer tomatoes, the, the first film. Well, there you go, the prison scene. <laughs> it was filmed right out there. Wow. 
Look at this, this is beautiful. Look at the sun over there. Tomato. It's a bird over there. It scared me. Hear it? There it goes. Bye bye. And now we come to Third Avenue Village here in a little town called Chula Vista, just south of National City. Right down here, somewhere, I'm gonna find it, is Finn Letters Pizza, the pizza shop from Return of the Killer Tomatoes. Oh, yes! I'm advancing up the sidewalk here, but I just had to point out this mural. Sky's the limit. We are in Padres territory. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, fans of Return of the Killer Tomatoes, I give the Finn Letters Pizza. Oh my gosh. Now, this was by pure luck that I found this location. I was going all the way up streets of National City and Chula Vista, all the way around the San Diego area, just looking at random shops and looking at the screen images from the movie and trying to find this. And I'll show you how I, I did that exactly, but yeah, pure luck, had no idea, no information on the internet until now of, of where these filming locations are located. Someone didn't like me filming their car as it was swifting by. Okay, this is amazing. That is the same door from the movie. Check out this screenshot. Chad leaving to go to Gang Green's house, taking the boysenberry pizza to Tara. The window to the left, right here, that's where the Finn Letters pizza sign was. Oh my gosh, that is the same door. Check that out, 35 years later. Welcome to Finn Later's Pizza. Holy crap, there you go. Here's the shot right here in my hand. Look at this. Wow, that's fantastic. I don't think they've painted this building. Oh yeah, they painted a little bit. It's a little bit different. So Chad gets on the scooter, comes off the curb here, and heads this way to gain greens. And it's the shot right here of him heading down that way on the scooter that led me to found the, find this location, all because of these buildings over here in the background. Just going down Google uh, Earth and Maps, uh, down the streets of National City, actually Chula City. First I went to National, and then I went to Chula because I didn't find it. Going there on Google Maps and finding this stretch of buildings in the background of this screenshot, that's how I found it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go inside and take a look. It was actually filmed in here, guys. I'm gonna order something too. See what they got on the menu. Do they have any uh, pizza? Oh, they better not have any tomatoes, right? That's amazing. That's the door that George Clooney would have turned. A young George Clooney. All right, so no pizza here, but I ordered a breakfast burrito. Check it out, I've got some great news. Everything is the same in here. There is the counter from Return of the Killer Tomatoes. The windows line up. You can see this window several times. And also over here to the front door, uh, Wilbur Finn Letters Pizza. All the scenes were filmed right there. This is where scene 32 went down behind the counter. And there's the main door where Tara walked in, where the cowboys and ninjas, the fight walked in. The ceiling tile is the same in here. And right here, here you go. Chad was standing right here. That's amazing. Look at this. Then and now. Wow, and I had to let everyone that works here know that they filmed Return of the Killer in Tomatoes here. They didn't know. And they were excited to find out that George Clooney once worked here. And right here, Tara walking into the door. Chad behind the counter, counter to my right. Here we go today. There's the door. It's a little shadowy, but you can definitely want to get closer. Notice the trim here right beside the door. Look at this trim. It's right here in front of me. It's all still the same. It's really shadowy here because we're by the door. But here's a look at the counter. This is the counter that was seen in the movie. This is screen used. Check it out. It's so cool. As the ninja and cowboy fight breaks out, which is ridiculously awesome, very airplane moment, you can make out the shot of the ceiling tile. Look at this light right here. Check it out. Look at that. Those lights are still here. And by the way, I got the breakfast burrito, no tomato. It's fantastic. Here's a shot of Chad and Matt, George Clooney, up on the table here in front of the windows. Check it out. Lanterns are different. 
But those, there is where they hung that window in the far left. And the ninjas and the cowboys are fighting. And then some bikers <laughs> joined in. Now there used to be booths right here before the windows. This is cool though, because down in the right hand corner of this screenshot, uh, you can make out this tile, which is still here. There's the tile, and this is the window where the booth was, where Chad and Matt were talking, and the box of Kellogg cereal was implemented in scene 32. Would have been right here. I'm trying to be careful, there's people eating to my right, but if you look out the window, you can make out the building behind Chad and Matt there. There's three squares here, hard to see, hard to make it out. One, two, three, check this out. One, two, three, just to show you that they were sitting right here in the former booth. Imagine George Clooney right here. This is scene 32, product placement, right in this very spot, holding the Pepsi. Also holding the Fosters from down under the Crunch Bar, and of course Moosehead from the north. The counter, the same, and also the counter back here the same cabinet as you see behind George. Thin letters pizza. Okay, that burrito was delicious. I can die and go to tomato heaven right now. Thin letters pizza. Wow, it's incredible. I wanted to do a whole lot more in there. Every uh, table right now is currently full. More people piled in there, so I got in there just in time. Uh, I was in there about yeah, 30, 40 minutes just kind of eating my burrito. There's a couple more shots I can show you out here along the sidewalk though. You got the scuba diver, Sam the cowboy, and of course, you've got Finn Letter with the parachute. Always dragging the parachute. That was right here. Look at this. Notice the awning down here on this building, right there. Also the window. They were walking down the sidewalk. And in, again, in the correct uh, location, heading to Gang Greens. If you watch that cartoon when you were a kid if you remember it like I do uh, kudos to you that was a that was a fun one here you go right here in Chula Vista it's a cool little town no tomatoes allowed tomato all right welcome to Parkside Apartments this took some digging I actually spent more time researching Your this destination is on the right thank you Oh, 4035 Park Haven Court, by the way. I spent more time researching this particular spot than any other spot I've ever researched for a filming location. This right here, oh my gosh. Right up there to the left, apartment H. That is Chad's apartment. George Clooney walked right up those steps several times and ran down them. Okay, so upon further investigation, I decided that 450 right here, this apartment H, apartments down both sides, there is an H over there and that's why I thought it was over there because in a screenshot you can clearly make out that Chad's apartment as George Clooney's walking out or running out the door, you see that the door says H. So there are two H's here, there's one down there, but the shot matches up perfectly here for this apartment up here. Everything you see here matches up. I'm about to show you. Pay attention to the doors, the windows, all uh, the railing of the stairs. And to the left a little bit, uh, there's a couple things on the wall. Um, here you go today, 450. Right here, top floor, second door over, apartment H. That is where they filmed. Uh, they filmed inside the apartment, one of the most hilarious scenes, my favorite one, um, next to scene 32, when uh, <laughs> Chad discovers that his girlfriend is a tomato. She walks in on, uh, he walks in on her eating the plant food, and uh, that scene's so funny. Tons of scenes filmed right out here. Even the asphalt matches up for when um, the garbage truck is parked out here. Things have changed a lot. There was a dumpster that was kind of out in this area. I don't know why, but it is evident that once they come right off that staircase, Tara runs this way and there's a dumpster here 
and Igor comes out from the dumpster, grabs her, and you don't really see um, what's happening this way, but the camera's down like this, and you can make out this strip beside the dumpster as Igor is putting, throwing her into the garbage truck, which was parked right there. The um, story goes, so I started a couple months back researching these. I went up and down every street uh, looking for an apartment that looks like this one, specifically looking for the railing. Um, oh my gosh, man, it took me a couple weeks, but how I did it was I ended up going onto an apartment website somewhere here in San Diego and just uh, hours upon hours just looking at photos that had this railing here, the specific railing, and then finally, uh, I almost didn't get this location. This was last minute. I found it right before I boarded the plane. I think I said Chad's apartment was H. It's actually G. I just knew where it was physically once I got here. I knew it was the second apartment in um, from the right. So there you go. That's from the movie. That's how I uh, ultimately found it too. I, start, uh, I started searching on the website for apartment G. And again, product placement. George Clooney eating an O. Henry bar wearing Reebok and having a Foster's down under. This was filmed right up there. Tomato. Also have to mention that FT, this is where FT jumped out of the window and that's when the chase began. That's the window right there, that FT, the fuzzy tomato, would have jumped out of and the chase began on foot throughout the city. And now we come a little bit north to Kensington, this area of San Diego, pretty nice. A lot nicer than the last Kensington I visited. Right here on the corner of Marlboro Drive and Adams Avenue, right here in the corner, there was a ice cream vendor. And this is during the chase for FT, as we just left the apartment, FT was running around Kensington. And the ice cream uh, cart was right here in this park and I know that because of these buildings in the background and you see behind the screenshot, this tree was in the park as well too, right here on the corner. You can definitely make out the building to the left in the screenshot, it's, it's right there today. FT fell into the ice cream bucket and he became a very fuzzy and chocolatey tomato. And you see this kid right here try to take a bite out of good old FT there. Right behind him to the left, you see that Chevron sign? That was the former gas station that sat across the corner, the park behind me. The kid would have been behind me. There you go. That's where that Chevron used to sit. FT rolled across the street and he got involved uh, in a car wash. He was used as a sponge. And I broke down that scene uh, very carefully and this is how I found this, that this was in Kensington, I'll show you. Got to cross the street over there first though. I have now crossed the street. This is what I was talking about. This was going on in front of the former Chevron station where I'm standing at today, right in front of the condo. And this screenshot right here is how I found that these locations were located in Kensington. If you look across the street here, it says Kensington Realty. And I looked that up. Now it's not Kensington Realty today, but that building is directly across from the former Chevron, across from me right now. Okay, use your imagination. The building to the right, formerly Kensington Realty. And also you can make out the window of the second story to the building to the left then and now. There's the screenshot from the movie, here you go. Across from the car wash in return of the killer tomatoes that's how I found that Kensington Realty so here you go right here this is a former Chevron right behind me there's some eateries in here it's a condo now a couple years ago they tore that Chevron down but back in 1987 they were filming a little movie out here and there was a car wash scene all in this vicinity the scene started over there in the park and then FT took off down the street here and I'll show you uh, what happens next we're actually heading down that way tomato I got it with me I always have it with me okay so as the FT chase scene progresses down Adams Avenue here at the corner of 42nd and Adams right here below this window is where FT lands and then there's a lady 
in the window shop. Uh, it's a clothing store, a very unique clothing store, by the way. Uh, she looks down and sees FT and comes out and shouts, tomato and the next thing you know it all the townspeople are popping their heads around the corner actually specifically right there a couple ladies come out around the corner right here and he is surrounded by a mob and that is when uh tara uh matt and uh and everyone comes to the rescue and rescues him from this specific spot right here now i'm gonna break that down for you this is pretty amazing this is the same check this out ft was once right here. Look at this. This is where the scene began. He kind of bounced against the wall and stood up right here. And then there's someone in this uh, window here, so I'm trying to be uh, not so crazy looking, but the lady was in the window right here. It was amazing. And this was a great scene. And then everyone surrounded FT, and you can kind of make out some of these buildings in the background, but mostly it was just, uh, just a bunch of people coming up to FT surrounding them. Tomato! They were supporting the new homeless look in this clothing shop in the movie. Check out the window there. Specifically the railing and the stonework. It's still the same. That sign was in the window. Look at that. All those years ago. Here's the best shot. I paused it just right. Check it out. FT right below the window. The lady coming out of the door. And also the business across the street. Pause for the motorcycle. Look at this. It's the same today. FT was right there. Oh, I gotta do something. This is gonna be fun. It looks like he was right on this crack. Check this out. There you go, then. Good old FT right there. Notice he's kinda on the crack. There's my tomato today. FT returns, tomato. It's pretty cool. A couple ladies peeking around the corner here. Notice the house behind them in the distance. The Spanish tile looking house right here. They peeked around this corner. Check it out, right here. So cool. And check it out, to the left, this couple with the sunglasses on stick their head out of the gate right here and look towards FT. You can see the gate behind them. Look at that, it's the same gate. Hold on, the gate's open, but this piece right here, right there, looking back towards FT. Wow, okay, now on the other side, we were just right there. I gotta come a little bit further down Adams Avenue, down to the next block to continue the chase. All right, so the news anchor that you see throughout the movie was standing right here not so much right here, I'm zoomed in to kind of put things into perspective. But in the screenshot, you'll see a window to the left past the camera. It's got a unique shape to it. And that's how I ultimately found this location. That window right here. And you can clearly see the side of the building here and the sidewalk. This is where they were shooting uh, the news. And as they're shooting the news, Everyone chasing after FT, running right behind in front of the camera right here beside this building. Actually right through here and they head down this way, down the sidewalk. And this is Bona Street. The chase progresses this way. In the next shot you can make out some of this, uh, it's probably not the same one, it could be the same picket fence as Tara is running with FT. All right, check this out. You can't make out the roof of the second house to the right because of the trees, but if you look close enough, you can vaguely see it. Here you go. Right here. Check this out. With the tomato in the screen too. Then, and now, you see it? It's really the fence and this up here that really puts it together. Also, you can make out the house to the left a little bit. Yeah, right there, look at that. Check it out. And then the mob notices that they are on the news and completely forgets they're chasing FT, the tomato, and turns around and goes after the news anchor. And here's that spot. Look at this. Check this out. Specifically, that right there, this alleyway. 
that news anchor is coming right across the street here and then he is uh he's clobbered himself like he's a tomato and here they are coming after the news anchor check out the house right behind them that house i've got it here for you right there look here right there and then now tomato got it right here <laughs> this is my third day in california yesterday i filmed some more filming locations in los angeles another video which i will put out i think after this one this is my third day here in california i got one more day to go i've got another project tomorrow just so you know a little update there uh here briefly came all the way out to california this weekend to shoot four specific videos that I did a ton of research for. So I hope you enjoy my filming locations endeavor out here on the West Coast. I will be back. It was so hard narrowing down the movies I wanted to show the locations to. I had to narrow some out. I originally wanted to do about uh, six more. No, no lie. I could go, I could do this every day. City of San Diego, having a good time today. Tomato. Okay, now still on Adams Avenue, a little ways down from Kensington. This is Normal Heights, opposed to Unnormal Heights. <laughs> okay, our next filming location is actually here on the corner, now a Starbucks, but was the nutrition store in Revenge of the Killer Tomatoes. Or did I say Revenge? Return of the Killer Tomatoes. Okay, let me match up some shots to show you. Okay, so here is the screenshot from the movie In Frame. Seacoast Natural Stores. Gotta use your imagination, but you can definitely make out a bit of the Adams Avenue sign to the left of the building. Here we are today, present day Starbucks. Looks like they've additioned this portion right here, but this is the natural food store. Here's a screenshot of when Tara and Chad first walk into the store. And they're looking for, uh, she's looking for plant food because she's a tomato. Little does Chad know that she's gonna buy that not for, uh, not for her tomatoes, but her, for herself. And that's when they catch the store manager buying tomatoes from the dealer there. A smuggler. Oh, and that, that caused the seed. And also one of my favorite lines from the movie, Valerian root powder. Valerian root powder. Just a random lady excited about Valerian root powder. Here you go. Notice the pole to the left. You can't see the sign because it's above the shot in the movie, but that's the pole for the uh, Normal Heights Adams Avenue pole. Right here. Then, and now. Valerian root powder. And for the next filming location, just a little ways down from the last one, we come to 3474 University Avenue. This was Adult World. This is where Chad and Tara visited during their date. Now, the scene starts by showing a billboard up here. Not this billboard. There was a Welcome to uh, San Diego Zoo billboard up there with an alligator on it. It said, see you later, alligator. And then the camera pans down and it shows them walking into what used to be adult world. 3574, right on the door. That's how I found this. I just kind of searched that number all around the San Diego area. And then I saw this building and recognized it right away. And then, of course, matched up there was a billboard next to it. That's where the San Diego Zoo sign was. So there you go, a little detective work. Wasn't too hard to find this one. There you go. See you later, alligator. Oh, tomato. Oh, I didn't bring it for this one. Oh well. Will you look at that? The legendary San Diego Zoo here at Balboa Park. Balboa Park is where I'm going, but I'm I'm headed for the uh, next filming location. They filmed a scene right out here. Busy area. Got lucky. Found parking right away. This person was backing out. All right. All right, false alarm. They were just readjusting. They they went straight back. Ah, oh, I hate when that happens. All right, got one here. I was here first, truck. Don't even think about it. I'll throw this tomato at you. I'm not joking. This scene's only for a brief moment, but very important because this is where the mime comes into the movie. Spanish Village Art Center. This place looks cool. Okay, the bell tower going off in the distance. It's starting to rain right there. 
right there must be under construction. That was the botanical garden I was looking for. I'm gonna to attempt to show you, but look at that. It's just a skeleton now. Wait till you see the photos. And this is what it looked like. And I'm sure it might look like it again someday. But Chad and Tara walk right past this building and the mime comes up behind them. Uh, you'll see, hold on one second. And here you go, Chad and Tara walking in front of the botanical garden and the famous mime there, hilarious. So here you go, you can still make out some of the uh, railing here, the concrete railing as you see in the shot. And there's music going, this is the date scene. They're just kind of walking and going through their date while they're playing the music. But right behind here, just use your imagination of them walking down the sidewalk. And right there, the skeleton of the botanical garden. And peeking over the fence here, just to show you what's going on with the construction of the botanical building. There you go. Oh wow, Balboa Park. This is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been and there's no sun out here. First day in San Diego, no sun, but I tell you what, it's still beautiful as they they say it say it is. Oh wow, look at the old mission over there. Okay, I've seen that before. That's very iconic. To the left here at Balboa Park. Just heard the bell go off. Here at the Casa del Prado here at Balboa Park, this theater. Look at this. This is beautiful, isn't it? Wow. Check it out. There's a production going on here called Gruesome Gallery of grotesque Edgar Allan Poe. Something I would enjoy seeing if I had more time. And for the next rainy filming locations, we come to the mall. Yep, we're going in here. The San Diego Fashion Valley Mall is where they film the scene when George Clooney is running the date with Rob Lowe scam. It's pretty cool how I found this out too. Oh, I figured it out. George Clooney running a scam right here at the mall. Win a date with Rob Lowe, or second place, was his mission, future Batman. Hilarious scene. The way I found this, it was very hard. I looked at all the stores in the background. None of those stores exist today, and they existed in a ton of uh, malls around the area, but it was one particular shot that I found and I took that shot and I started looking at old uh, old footage on YouTube. This mall has changed, been renovated several times since the time, since 35 years ago, since they filmed the scene here in Return of the Killer Tomatoes. But thanks to this footage right here from News Channel 8, local San Diego, I was able to see what the mall once looked like. And there are two things that led me to find this filming location. The first, this precise screenshot because this is the most you see of the mall behind Chad there. And because of this right here, this news clip, News Channel 8 San Diego, taken sometime in the 80s, behind this news anchor is the reverse angle well, of this screenshot. Right there and right there. Check out the sidewalk. Looky here, that's how I was able to pinpoint because the news anchor was doing a report on this mall specifically. So bingo, this is where they filmed the scene from Return of the Killer Tomatoes. Okay, so you really have to use your imagination. Again, up here to the left. Over there, second story has been added, again, Remodeled probably a dozen times since the 80s. It's a mall always evolving many changes There Here about where the fountain is actually Win a date with Rob Lowe. I wonder if there's gonna be a movie someday with win a date with uh, George Clooney that would be a, that would be a nice uh, killer tomatoes reference Here you go, right? In front of Bloomingdale's and the weather's gone south on us as we're approaching downtown San Diego. There you go, Petco Park. I knew we'd pass it. Wow, that's an awesome stadium. Hope to see the Rays play there one day. And look at that, the San Diego Convention Center. Legendary San Diego Comic Con, which I plan on doing that someday. This is a long building as it should be. Look at that. 
goes all the way down there. Do 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 And finally for the next filming location we come to Seaport Village. San Diego, California. If you didn't know. Okay, so right here, this building that says Bay Company, this is where the final celebration went down. And I found this uh, just kind of on a whim. Again, uh, I was searching the sign in the movie. This was not called the Bay Company. It was called Latitudes. And I was able to track down where that used to be. And here we are, present day, the Bay Company. All, everything will make more sense in just a second. Welcome heroes, Finn Letter does it again. That sign was right there on the lip of this roof. Sorry, it's raining, there you go. The camera pans down, you see the shot of the buildings behind this one. Notice the trim at the peak of this building here. Check this out. There you are right there. And there are buildings behind there. Confirming this location and the cool shot of Finn letter right here. Everyone's wearing those Pepsi Cola hats Look right here And pay attention right here and here Wilbur Finn letter celebrating welcome notice the roof and the railing Still the same and look right here. You see this molding right here below the roof check this out Still here today there you go. They're all celebrating right here. Present day, the Bay Company. Back then, this was Latitudes, the final scene of Return of the Killer Tomatoes. The victory celebration. Oh my gosh. Check out those retro Pepsi Cola San Diego hats. I wonder if those are still around. Hey, if you know, let me know. I would love one. And just so you know, this is a souvenir shop on the inside. Great place to grab a souvenir for Chris the girl. Oh yeah, oh, good idea. Okay, grab some souvenirs for the fiance. Also, talk to the folks here at the Old Town Trolley booth. They had no idea that Return of the Killer Tomatoes was filmed right next to their booth. So there you go, shout out to them. Lynn and Garrett, if you find the video. Thank you for the poncho, they gave me a poncho. And watching from afar, Chad, and right behind him his car and inside Tara. And he was looking back from this location right here. Actually, the car was parked right there. I'm juggling a lot of things in my hand right now, but the final kiss right here in this spot, check it out. A little bit different, but not. Chad's car with tear inside parked right here. There you go again, check it out. Notice the road and the sidewalk to the right. Also the little median with the red trim and the fire hydrant right out there. A quick shot before they pull off, Tara bites into a toast and gives a little wink to show that she's not a tomato girl anymore. And then again, they roll off this way. Oh, check this out. A lot of tours going on right now. Even a boat out in San Diego Harbor there, way out there. And a celebration behind me as the sea tour gets back, just like there was back during Return of the Killer Tomatoes. Right here, check it out, the red car. Right there. The second to last shot in the movie. The next shot is of George Clooney running on a beach, uh, San Diego Beach, with uh, a lot of females. <laughs> that was it. All right, I'm standing in the middle of the road. Gonna shift to the right a little bit. Just to show you one more time. There you go. This circle right here, among the sea village. The final shot of Return of the Killer Tomatoes. Oh, hop on, hop off. Old Town Trolley. There we go, right there. All right, San Diego. It was fun. It was real fun, it was brief. Saw a lot of stuff today. I will be back much ahead. And you know I have to do it one last time. Tomato. Bet you're wondering where I got this, huh? I bought it at Walmart in Ocean City last night. That's where I stayed. Yesterday, I made a video in Los Angeles and I stayed about halfway down to San Diego along the Pacific in Ocean City, a little motel. 
and got this tomato. One tomato. All right, everyone, that's the best that I could do. I hope you enjoyed the filming locations to return of the killer tomatoes. Hope all those fans out there enjoyed this video. And uh, please let me know if you know where any of the other locations I may not have shown today are. I am anxious to know. There was only a couple. I couldn't find the restaurant. That was very hard to find. I mean, I eventually could have found it, or I think I still can. I, I probably will, but I just ran out of time, simply. Had to get out here and uh, track these down for you. So thanks for watching, everyone. If it was your first time here, subscribe below and uh, come on back. If you'd like to check out more of my filming locations, there is a filming locations playlist on the main page of my YouTube channel. Just check those out. Much behind and much behead. Did I say behead again? Oh, I always do that. <laughs> much ahead. It's not haunt season yet. All right. Know you're awesome. Know you're loved. And no matter who you are, what you're going through, there's always much ahead for you. And tomato. Shout out to George Clooney. Awesome movie, by the way. I love this movie. I don't know why I just shouted out to George Clooney, though. That was kind of random. <laughs> All right. It's been a long day. I got to head back to the Los Angeles area tonight. Edit this video. Uh, trying to get it out tomorrow. It'll come out and uh, you'll know by now. So, all right. I'm not going to ramble too much. I'll see you guys later. Watch ahead. And just so you know, I left my tomato right here. Someone will enjoy it. I'm not going to take that on the plane back to Tampa with me. I'm sure someone will appreciate it. Probably a squirrel. All right, there you go. Return of the Killer Tomatoes. Check it out on Arrow Video. I got this off of Amazon. Also, it is free on YouTube, but the quality on YouTube is not as good as Blu-ray, obviously. There you go. Dick a screenshot. It'll last longer. All right, I'm out. These trees are cool, aren't they? <laughs>